let's start at the heart of the smart mobile device, its processor. Now, we are inspired to do even more, even better. The question that keeps me up at night is, how can we increase processing power while decreasing energy consumption? Well, I can report I have been sleeping pretty well lately because we have leveraged the benefits of Exynos 4 Power and Exynos 5 Duo to create the next breakthrough for our Exynos lineup, the Exynos 5 Octa. The Exynos 5 Octa introduces a whole new concept in processing architecture. An architecture that includes two sets of four cores each. An architecture that gives you all the power you want to run intensive applications, but is smart enough to conserve energy when running more basic tasks. Ultimately, we are saving energy and prolonging battery life. So, let's see what the processing power of Exynos 5 Octa will allow devices to do. We built this reference device incorporating Exynos 5 Octa for this year's CES. This device is intended to show the amazing possibility the Exynos 5 Octa offers. One key difference is the level of pure processing power never seen before in a mobile device. Not just for individual applications, but for heavy-duty multitasking as well. Say, I wanted to do a quick web search for a good dinner spot tonight. I could load that page. I could simultaneously download an app to make a reservation. And retrieve GPS and mapping information. All without a lack or disruption of any of the applications. It goes without saying that the Exynos 5 Octa easily handles rich HD movie streaming. No dropped frames, no image freeze, and of course, razor sharp picture quality. The Exynos 5 Octa is designed for high-end smartphones and tablets. It has the power to handle every step of my restaurant search while simultaneously streaming an HD movie. Bottom line, when you want multiple applications to perform at their best, you want the best application processor currently available. The Exynos 5 Octa. <laughs> Perhaps the most powerful multimedia performance can be seen in 3D games. The Exynos 5 Octa provides 3D performance that is twice as good as any previous generation processors, including the Exynos 4 Cloud. Here to demonstrate that 3D performance is VP, the head of the mobile platform at EA, Glenn Rowland. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Good morning. The first thing I want you to appreciate about the new Exynos 5 is a level of pure processing power never seen before in a mobile device. And this is not just for individual applications. It's also for heavy multitasking. It's also not just down to the speed of the processor. This capability is gonna become more critical in the future as mobile applications with 3D gaming image processing become available. Let's see the Exynos 5 in action on my Samsung reference device. Greg Brandmeier is going to be playing EA's beautiful 3D racing game, Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is a very pro heavy processor intensive game with highly detailed graphics. Yet, you can see this device is going to be handling them with no problem at all. It'll all be rendering very smoothly. Let's just take a second because I really want you to see the performance of this product.
can see already, just from the title screens, how beautiful this game looks. between SAM78 enables optimizations that enhance both the XMS5 and Need for Speed Most Wanted. And this results in several benefits. Smoother rate, uh, frame rates, which are important to a fantastic experience in gaming, where timing and proper controls are essential for competitive gameplay. High poly models and extra detail go into every car. Over-the-top collision mechanics allowing players to accrue more detailed damage to cars than ever before. This means every smash into walls, competitor cars, or pursuant cops creates an adrenaline pumping frenzy of shattered windows, cracked headlights, and flying parts. Real time reflections on the car immerse gamers in the fantasy locations of the Need for Speed Most Wanted world. Advanced paint shaders improve the look of the light hitting the car, helping bridge that gap to real world action. Stunning graphics let racers see the world flashing by and gives the fastest sense ever of an, in a Need for Speed mobile title. Beautiful radio motion war effect takes console techniques for the first time ever and brings them into a mobile device. So EA continually strives to bring high quality, up. diverse, and graphically impressive games to our consumers. We work closely with our partners to improve upon the experience fans have come to expect from EA as these new technologies become available. Thank you and enjoy CES. Now, computing power is important, but in mobile devices, battery life is an equally important factor. The Exynos 5 Optus architecture offers up to 70% energy saving following the life of your battery. What helps make this possible is our advanced silicon technology. Over the last five years, Samsung has continued to shrink the process nodes of our silicon technologies all the way from 90 nanometer to 28 nanometer in five generations. Each time you shrink the node, we gain speed and we improve energy efficiency. In the coming years, we plan to shrink even further, 20 nanometer, 14, and even 10 nanometer. We are talking about a signal line that is 5,000 times thinner than a single strand of human hair. At Samsung, we will continue to lead the industry with advanced silicon technology. But that's only half the story. For many years, Samsung has been working in close collaboration with ARM to set the standard for low-power mobile architecture. This year, that collaboration has produced a revolutionary new processing architecture called BitLittle. Here to tell us more is my friend and co colleague, the CEO of Warren East. We must look for new ways to accelerate progress. And that's why we created a new processor technology last year. Uh, Stephen, you talked about it uh, a moment ago. We're very proud of it. Uh, it's called Big Little. Now, if we look back inside uh, the reference device, we can see that the Exynos 5 Octa employs our Big Little processor technology. Each processor is designed for different types of workloads, and they work together in concert to provide optimal efficiency. There's a cluster of big processors, uh, the four ARM Cortex A15 processor cores and they're designed for high-performance workloads. And then there's a cluster of little processors, four ARM Cortex-A7 processor cores. And they're designed to handle the majority of mobile workloads, and they're optimized for the lowest possible energy consumption. Let's remind ourselves of the huge difference it will make. I'm going to demonstrate the balance of computing power and efficiency. 
The bars on the left of the screen shows the workload of every processor in the Exynos 5 octet. As you can see, for basic applications like that light web search and mapping we saw earlier, we are using the little processors. And for more heavy duty applications like that graphic switch gaming and HD streaming, we switch over to the big processors. Matching the right processor to the right job and using only the energy needed for the task at hand. Yes, this approach is really going to improve the user experience. Uh, it's providing roughly twice the performance of today's leading edge smartphones at half the power consumption when running common workloads. Really the best of both worlds. So Warren, what's next for Samsung and Arm? Well, Samsung and Arm are both committed to bringing outstanding experiences to consumers. Uh, and as partners together, we will continue to drive innovations to enable better lives. All amazing possibilities. And I'm confident that Samsung and Arm will be the first to make that a reality. Warren, thank you for your partnership and inspiration, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Steve.